after graduating, I decided to do magic professionally. I got a job as a bartender and started doing magic behind the bar using, you know, martini glasses, lemons, and then from there sort of developed, you know, my full show. And I also perform at the Magic Castle in Los Angeles, which is really fun. There are very few bar magicians in the world. I am part scientist, part comedian, part bartender, and a lot of magician. And you add all of those together. Uh, now, as a magician, I travel the country meeting all different types of people. And as a magician that performs at a bar, let's just say I hear a lot of personal stories. <laughs> the one I hear most is that of relationships, love, and loss, and how that really sticks with a person. I'm sure you can empathize. I know I can. And heartbreak, it's hard to talk about. So let me show you. Teller, would you mind joining me? Please welcome Teller. <laughs> Women in magic. I mean, I know there are so few men, women in magic, but uh, what's what's great about it is that we come from such a different perspective, and we see the world differently through you know female eyes that 
were able to bring uh, just a different way of doing magic. That's <laughs> cool. And then I heard you've you've gone to magic camp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm actually really uh, kind of excited to tell you that one time we had t-shirts that did say one time at magic camp. Oh, so. well, see, there you go. <laughs> Those did exist, yeah. Nice. yeah. So All right. Fun. Well, let's see. Uh, let's see what the boys think. Come on. Oh, look at Teller. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, boy, that's good. What I love about this is you work it just out of your purse, what you have on you, and it could play any size theater in the world. That's just a, that's just a wonderful thing about it. I mean, you've taken a tournament stored paper, which is usually a newspaper or a, or a ticket or some sort of jive thing that you try to give meaning to, and you've given real meaning to it. But more than giving it real meaning, you've done something that everybody's always trying to do in magic and never can do, and that is having the magic happen right in an audience member's hand. I mean, uh, if Teller were a citizen, which of course he's not, <clears throat> he would have considered that to be the absolute magic happened in his hand, never left his hand, and absolutely beautiful there. The whole routine is just wonderful. We think that we've got it from the, uh, the torn and restored thing, but we've got to say, even with that, we really love you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Just guys. great. Thanks for having me.